Today we hit the streets of Beverly Hills, California on one of the fastest electric unicycles ever made. So this is the veteran Sherman right here. This is 3,200 watt hours of battery power in this thing. You can go about 120 miles on this thing. It's rated about 45 miles an hour for a 300 pound rider. I can get it up to about 51 miles per hour. Riding on the road right here, whenever you hear this thing, whenever you, you hear the beep, beep, you can hear it faintly on here because I try to edit out the wind noise. That's when it's really getting to top speeds. But if you're new to this, this right here is the top of the line machine right here that came out about a year ago. It's called the Veteran Sherman. And this is an iteration of the electric unicycle that was basically created by the engineers from Gatway they branched over kind of did their own thing and they made a performance wheel all performance no frills some of the other wheels they have like LED strips on it you'll have you know Bluetooth speakers whatnot this one right here this is all performance they got this nice roll cage on here basically like a rigid industry style LED light bar on the front that is super super bright you have this in combination with just like a pocket flashlight where you can actually like turn the flashlight you know where you're going and whatnot you're good to go at night time at night riding it's awesome it peels out you see this thing the torque on this thing is enormous and with that torque it has the high speed there as well and this thing just takes off if you're looking at this wheel right here, you know, you're maybe thinking, man, what is that? This is, if you're just seeing this and you're like, oh man, he may have modified this thing or what is that? You know, there must be something going on with this thing because that thing looks fast and I don't know what it is. You can buy this thing straight up guys, like it is and get it out the box. You can get the FedEx guy to send this thing to your door, get it out the box and it's gonna go straight up this fast. The link's right below if you wanna pick one up. The only modifications I've done to this specific wheel right here is I have the EUC side pads, the Governor XL side pads on here, and you can pick those up as well in the links below. And I also have Ginger on wheels. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate it. He sent me these foot plates that are on the top right here, and they're basically just aftermarket um, foot plates that go over the... It's, it replaces the grip tape and it's just like some spiked foot plates that help your your feet get some more traction because that's one thing when you're really leaning on this thing and torquing on it you got to have something to where your bottom of your feet really catch better on it or at least for me if you're if you're just kind of casual riding it's no big deal but for this massive like leaning and torquing and accelerating that's what you need check this dude out right here. dude i didn't even see that guy right there i didn't even notice that was like I, didn't, I thought that was construction or something. That was a dude straight, like, little encampment right there, man. Like, I didn't know. Like, that caught me off guard, bro. Y'all ready for something new? Let's go up to Beverly Hills. Let's go up to the hills and go do some one-wheel rally cross. Let's go do some actual, like, full-on F1 style ripping through the tight corners of Hollywood Hills. Let's go see if we can do it real quick on this thing. So tight corners, rough roads, we're going to be accelerating hard, braking really, really hard to the point where this tire is going to be skipping in reverse on the brakes, guys. And this is just incredible, the immense power that this thing has to be able to go. This guy right here is like, what is that, dude? But the immense power to be able to actually skid on this thing and brake. And you learn how to maintain it. Once you, once you really understand this veteran Sherman and you really get used to this 77 pound machine right here you can really get a feel of how this thing breaks and you can really get savage on these brakes guys and I'm telling you um, the unevenness of the road though it, whenever you are in your braking uh, I guess progression um, the unevenness of the road can kind of bounce you up which will literally send that tire it'll make it reverse in the air and then you'll literally whenever you hit it'll go skr, skr, it'll be like a skipping effect and on one wheel it alerts you man that makes your, your eyebrows raise up you know whenever you're on one wheel like that and it just 
on not too many of the other unicycles would it do that very much. It does it on my Bigode EXN just because these two wheels, the Bigode EXN and this wheel right here just have so much power behind them. It is ridiculous compared to the to the other wheels that I, I've rode before. And it's uh, the other wheels are great for off-road, you know, for that fast trail riding stuff, for that nimble, lightweight stuff. But these two wheels, the Bigode EXN, the Veteran Sherman, man, you get these things on the road, uh, you get them on an open stretch or something, and just that immense power, man, it is just something else. It's something else. It is it's just, I mean, it never gets old. And it's just, it's making me really get back into loving this even more. You know, it's just one thing after the other. It was the suspension, and now it's just the fast field. And it's just they keep coming out with more and more cool stuff that you want to get, you know, and it just never gets old. It's not like, you know, like paintball or something where it's like, okay, you know, well, they've changed the aluminum color of the paintball gun 15 times now and made a new invention on the trigger. It's not like that. You know, this is like massive upgrades, like huge, huge upgrades you're getting every single few months on these things. And it's just, what a hobby to be in, dude. It's so much fun. It's so cool. And uh, if you want to get into this, guys, I'm telling you, and I'll say it again, you don't need to spend this much money to buy this wheel right here. This wheel right here is something I take out every now and then, you know, to really rip on, have fun on, and etc. The wheel that I'm taking out the most for day-to-day -day stuff is going to be your lower range, lighter weight wheel. It's um, the wheels I get the most out of, guys. Like I said before, I try to upsell that 16S all the time if you're trying to get into the hobby. That's one wheel, I'm telling you, I ride it all the time. I just was on it all day today, you know? And it's just that trolley handle on it is great. Um, if you didn't hear me, what exactly I said, the King Song 16S is exactly the wheel that I recommend, you know, for anybody that's getting into the hobby. If you don't have a wheel yet, go for that one. It's the perfect price point, and it'll be something you can ride forever. Even if you just beat it all up, it's still going to run. You know, it might have some cosmetic damage, but that thing is going to run through thick and thin, man. You could throw that thing off the Empire State Building, and it would still work, you know. It might take some cosmetic damage, but this thing's still going to keep trucking, dude. Like, that 16S is an amazing wheel for the price you pay for it so if you get if you see this and you're like oh i want to get into that dude all you need is like 1200 bucks get you a king song 16s and then you're riding and then you're gonna be entertained on that wheel for like two to three years easy come in here too hot oh bad day baby aloe plants growing check it out big old aloe plant growing in the wild dude isn't that awesome Sweet. So right there is a prime example of why these unicycles are just the coolest thing, man. You'll you'll be way more inclined to go off the path and go find little nooks and crannies and specific spots and look over here and you know you don't have the rumble and thumble of a motorcycle sitting there under you and you don't have to like fimble with that or anything like that if you see something over there that's interesting or whatever you can really go over there you know this is kind of like i mean it, it's it's incredible just what you can explore what you can see and what you can do and right there in that little uh, where I showed you this cactus, I didn't have my main camera with it, but I was exploring, dude, that was so cool. I came in there, there's like aloe plants growing, a whole like little like cacti like farm, basically. It was just cool. It looked like a garden, like a little garden of Eden of like cactus. But I don't know, it was a cool spot. Anyways, yeah, that was right up in the, in the Hollywood Hills. Like literally you go to the back of like a little neighborhood up there and then it was just a, like a hiking trail that goes all the way up. I was right near the Hollywood sign actually where that was. I don't know where all the footage was. I tried to find the Hollywood sign, and I know where I recorded it, and like I was like all around it. I couldn't find the exact path to get to it. And I was all up around the thing, and I had cool footage of it in the background, and I don't know where it went. But it, we, we are, we're right near the Hollywood sign, and, um, and the Hollywood Hills. So I guess like Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills area. I'm not too sure exactly where it is, dude. I'm just exploring around, having a good time, like, and the thing is, with these roads in here, man, there's like delivery trucks, you got FedEx, landscapers, bro, you got everything else going on through here. And I was trying to really go as fast as I could, have as much fun as I can, 
through here with it also being safe and considerate of terrain that I didn't know yet. You know, I don't know exactly what's around these corners or what's going on. So I was going as fast as I really felt comfortable doing through here without being a, a moron. But for some reason, this really reminded me of like the Monaco Grand Prix, dude. I was just getting like Max Verstappen vibes, vibes coming around the corners right here. I, I was loving it, dude. If you actually were able to like close down this neighborhood and just like fence it off and have a unicycle race through here and you know everybody had their cars up and it was just full on and ripping through here as fast as you could with like 30 riders dude that would be so much fun racing with these things is going to spark like none other just due to the terrain that you can ride on these things you can ride everything from dirt mud sand you can ride off-road on-road everything like that and i'm thinking amazing race type stuff guys where we can like go on journeys you can throw this thing on a bus take it to another town in that town you got to get off go to a checkpoint grab this thing you know you got to hit this trail and then pass the wheel off to this guy and he, man the possibilities are endless and i think uh, unlike car racing and stuff like that you can really do a lot with this you can throw this on public transport and extend the race to, you know and have like a whole nother aspect to it you know maybe even you have to catch a flight you know in in that race you know it could be something extreme to where we really plan these out it branches into something big and i think as soon as some big names catch on that are you know like Man, if Travis Pastrana saw this, you know, he's open to anything out there. I think one thing that could get some serious traction behind this is like a big name race. Get a team together, like go out there, do the Baja 1000 on these things, have a few of them ready to go, parts, mechanics, whatever you needed to do, but complete it, you know, be the odd one out that did this, show these moto heads, these mountain bikes and stuff like this, that is something different. You know, you can't compare this to like a dirt bike or something like that. It's the same reason one person likes ice skating, the other one likes you know, painting, you know, it's completely different than any other type of motorsport out there. And it simply just needs to be introduced in that way.